Hello everyone, welcome back. Today, uh, I think it's February 16th, does that sound about right? Out in shop today, we're working. Um, what we're going to do today is I got some parts here. We can put uh, pretty most of our um, John Deere cylinder head job back together. Um, and that's, uh, I'm still waiting for one more thing, but it actually should be here today. And the mail comes usually in the next hour or so. So, with all that, let's, uh, let's get going. We'll put you guys over here on the on the stand actually I'm not hold on just a sec all right there all set I guess everybody can see I hope I'm trying to get an angle where I can I can work but I'm not in the way of everything um, so the first thing we've done is we've cleaned our our block and cleaned our cylinder head real good decarboned everything um, the other thing that you want to do when you do this is take a straight edge, put it across on your block and across on your head as well. They give you a flatness limit. It can be three thou um, out of flat. This particular one checked just dead perfect. No issues whatsoever. So that's good. You don't have to worry about that. But like, especially if it's been uh, severely overheated, make sure you take a check on that. So, got our head gasket here. This is an actual John Deere part. There's the part number that we're using. You can also you can also obtain all these parts from the, the engine manufacturers as well. This is. This particular one is a Kohler. And the gasket, which is exactly the same thing, was actually um, a couple dollars cheaper from Kohler than it was from John Deere. And that's where our gasket goes, right there. Just like so. And if you look at it. It doesn't really doesn't really say anything, but you'll notice that the writing here is on the gasket. It's always it's always been my habit to always put the writing out away from the block, unless you know your particular application tells you to do differently. So with that in mind, I'll put this little guy on the head like so. I'm going to take our bottom bolt which will go here because the gasket is on the dowel here but it's the only one. The other dowel is actually on the engine. So as far as holding a gasket in place I put a bolt through like so. Start our bolt. I'm going to get a second bolt. Put the gasket up into place. Notice how the gasket just flops down. Get our second bolt started. third and fourth and then as you recall we had to remember this one here had the spacers on it and was down here if I remember correctly correct me if I'm wrong you're supposed to remember that okay so that, all that there is good. Put 
Now we're just going to very lightly snug these up. These torque in two stages. First stage I think is uh, 15 foot pounds and the second stage is 30 foot pounds. Okay. Now, seeing that the manual doesn't show me a specific torque pattern with five, I'm just going to use a star. I'm going to here, 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 here. Just like you would uh, putting lug nuts on. I don't know how critical it is on these, but it, it, that's just my habit to do it this way. I always do it the same when given a choice. So we're going to go first up here, 15 pounds. All right, so we'll start here. Fifteen's not very much, so don't get all excited. I'm doing this. All right, so there's fifteen all the way around. I'm just going to double check. Yep, fifteen and thirty. Manuals for these, um, I just went right to the Kohler uh, engine website and they have manuals for all their engines there. You just download them. There's 30. There you go. And then just I'll just just run around, I'll just check them. There you go. Our head is on. Pretty easy to to work on these, that's for sure. Um all right, next thing we got to do is we have to do our our push rods and our rocker arms look down in there make sure that your push rod goes into your rocker arm very important. I'm just snug this up. Hope I'm not in the way here. Okay, snug that. And going through here again. Push rod in. Snug it up. These are non-adjustable types, so. They're both on there and snug. And I'm just going to take and double check. One thing with this stuff, it, you can check it as many times as you want. Make sure you're right. Make sure that they're in the lifters. And they are. So that's good. All right, now, these two bolts that hold those pedestals on, you set those at 100 inch pounds, not foot pounds, inch pounds, which is like, if I believe, it's 8.3, 8.4 foot pounds if you don't have a, an inch pound meter. Okay. 
100 inch pounds. Now it's not very much. Eight, eight and a half foot pounds is not a lot. That's it. Okay. That's all back together. Now our our valve cover we'll put on put on next. The valve cover, I was gonna get a new gasket for it. The valve cover actually has no gasket. But um, you do just put silicone sealer on it. So we'll put our gap there. So that's easy enough. Okay, so I'm going to put some sealer on that and get that ready to go. And uh, I won't bore you with that. I'll turn you back on when it's ready. So we've got our got a bead of ultra gray around on our cover. So that's all set. The one thing I forgot to do, I just just did, is um, I re-loosened up our rocker arms and I put a little bit of uh, luber plate between the tip of the valve and the rocker arm just to give it a little bit of lube on startup. I did forget that. So that has been taken care of. Now these here have no super special, uh, I'm sure everything has a torque setting, but nothing critical about these. out of sealer all the way around. That's good. And we'll just do the same thing here that we did before. Kind of go around. Now one of the things that I did, we were going to go through our carburetor, but as I was shopping around for parts for this, a, re a replacement brand new carburetor for this was $17 on eBay. So that's what's coming. I said, you know, for $17, bucks, i will just put a brand new one on it. But that's not here yet, so we are waiting, waiting for that. But that's okay. It'll uh, hopefully it'll be here today. But in the meantime, we put all the rest of our stuff on. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to bore you guys with putting all these covers back on. I've also I've got uh, I'm going to drain the oil. I'm going to put an oil filter on it. I got a new fuel filter, a new spark plug. Uh, the other thing that I want to mention, hopefully you, you can see it, is on your your pickup for your coil. These here, these were like all rusty. So I just shined those up a little bit with a wire brush and I did the same thing on the, the pickup that goes to it. So that'll get a nice, uh, a nice reading when we fire it back up. 
So the rest of this is just put the covers back on, essentially in the reverse order of you know how we took it apart. I'm not going to bore you guys with all that. I'm going to put the muffler back on. It's too bold. It's kind of simple stuff. I don't think we're going to do big videos on it. Um, so I'm going to put all that back on. Hopefully that carburetor will come along. And if it does, uh, I'll bring it back when it's time to see if this thing will start. Battery's all charged. That's the other thing you got to remember. Well, everything's all back together. We did not get a carburetor. So I put the old carburetor on. I juiced up the, the bowl. It's got fresh oil filter, it's got fresh fuel filter, new plug, batteries charged. Let's see if it'll run on this old carb. We've got nothing to lose, I suppose. Choke it up. Here goes nothing. And we've got nothing. Well, take a look here. I had the battery on charge. forget. Forget that ground wire. Did we, did we, did we? Well, let me hook up that ground and uh, we'll take another look. Alright, well for some reason the switch is not operating that. We'll turn that on. Let's give this a shot.
Got one problem. We've got a leak here from the bottom of our valve cover, so we may have to uh, pop that up and regoop that. But other than that, it actually doesn't sound too bad. Alright, I'll get it outside and we'll run it some more. But I'm thinking maybe we'll just leave that carburetor on there, not worry about it. When I when I first brought this thing home, I did take that carburetor apart and clean it. So I guess I did a good job. Didn't run it that much after that, so. But yeah, we'll have to take care of our oil leak here, and then we'll be good to go. So, we'll get it outside, and we'll run it. I gotta, I gotta change the tires that are on it. I've got a, I've got a parts tractor that's identical to this, except it has a manual transmission that uh, I'm gonna take all the tires off. Those are all good. I'll put these on that. But that's in, you know, three feet of snow. So I ain't gonna worry about that right now. So there you go. Um, that's how you do your head gasket on your John Deere LT150. It's a CV15 uh, Kohler engine. I think the CV11 through 16s are all pretty much the same procedure. So there you go. I guess that's it. I'm just rambling now. I get, like I say, I'll get outside and I'll run it, put some time on. I'll go through probably one of the interlocks, which is somewhere, is keeping us from starting. So we'll take a look at that. But other than that, I think that's all the news that's fit to print. So until we meet again, thanks for looking. And um, as always, Take it easy. Okay, so I'm back to report that our John Deere is a fail. I had it, uh, I had it running for, I don't know, half hour, 40 minutes, I let it set outside, and just let it run, varying the throttle. I'd go out while I was cleaning up in here, and uh, all good, went out, rode around the yard a few times, all good. So I went, I was going to put it in the back building with the other tractors, and I got about halfway there, and boo! She threw a rod. So, I'm guessing that there was more to it than the head gasket issue. So anyways, that's the end of that one. And that will be jotted, like I say, as a fail. So, parked it out there, I don't know, maybe I'll bring it in at some point, take it back apart, and uh, see what happened to it. Um, I do have a 17 horsepower um, Kohler engine. I don't have any idea the condition of that. I may take a look at that. And see maybe we can do something with that. It's essentially the same same engine, just a little bit larger displacement. So anyways, that's uh that's what happened to that. So oh well. But on a good note, there's good news as well. Went over today. Oops, sorry, Jakey. And look what's back. All of our parts. All of our parts are back. So I get cleaning those up and get some primer on them. And that will kind of 
start this. So anyways, there you go. That's all the news that's fit to print. So, till the next time, take it easy.